Hello students, the topic of today's laboratory module is study of mitosis in onion root. The aim of the experiment is to prepare a temporary mount of onion root tape to study mitosis. Let us first see the theory. Cells form the structural and functional units of all organisms and cell division helps in the growth of organism and in maintaining tissues. There are two main methods of cell division that is mitosis and meiosis. Meiosis is the reductive cell division commonly seen in germ cells during gamete formation and Mitosis is the equational division that occurs commonly in somatic cells to provide new cells for growth and replacement of dead cells. Mitosis occurs in actively growing tips of onion roots and is therefore used to study mitosis in cell biology experiments. A eukaryotic cell nucleus divides into two daughter cells during mitosis and each mitotic cell division consists of two events. First one is karyokinesis or division of the nucleus and cytokinesis or division of cytoplasm. Mitotic cell division occurs in the M phase of the cell cycle, usually after DNA replication in the S phase of interface leading to the formation of two sister chromatids from each chromosome. The main events during mitosis are The first phase is the prophase. It is the initial phase of mitosis characterized by thickening and condensation of the chromosomes, shrinkage and disappearance of the nucleolus and the initiation of spindle formation by a group of fibers. The second is the metaphase. It is the second stage of mitosis and during this stage, nuclear membrane disintegrates completely. The chromosome become more condensed with two thick chromatids. The spindle fibers attach to centromeres of each sister chromatids and aligns them along the central plane of the cell. The third phase is the anaphase. This stage is characterized by the splitting of the centromeres and the migration of the sister chromatids towards the opposite poles of the cell. The last phase is the telophase. It is the last stage of mitosis during which the chromatids reach the opposite poles of the cell followed by the disappearance of the spindle, decondensation of the daughter chromosomes to form chromatin fibers reformation of the nuclear membranes and nucleolus. It is finally followed by cytokinesis or the partitioning of the cell which may involve the formation of cell plate or new cell wall between the two daughter nuclei in plant cells. Let us now see mitosis in onion root tip. An onion root tip represents rapidly growing part of the root and since the cells are actively undergoing mitosis, meristematic root cells in the root tips provide a suitable material for studying mitosis. Moreover, since the chromosome of monocotyledonous plants like onion is large and conspicuous, Onion root tips are commonly used to study mitosis. To observe mitotic cell division in the onion root tip cells, the root tips can be squashed on a microscopic slide after preparing it. The cells can be visualized under a microscope after treating them with specific DNA stains such as falgan stain or acetocarmine stain. Let us now see the materials and reagents required for the experimentation. First, we need test tubes, preferably of 13 into 100 mm size, fixative, which is 
made up of 9 parts 45% acetic acid and 1 part 1 normal ACL. Onion beaker, preferably of 150 ml size, scissors, razor blade, metal, spatula, aceto ocean stain, microscopic slides, cover slips, and water bath. Next is fixative preparation. Mix 9 parts 45% acetic acid and 1 part ICL to prepare the fixative. Next, stain preparation. Add 5 gram of orsin in 150 ml of hot acetic acid and Keep the stain solution in a dark bottle for 2-3 to three days with intermittent sacking. Filter the stain solution and store it in a dark bottle. Let us now see the procedure of the experimentation. The first step is growing onion roots. For this, take one onion bulb and suspend its bottom part in a beaker containing water by using toothpicks to hold the onion at the top of the water. Keep for 3 to 4 days and wait for the roots to grow. The next step is fixing of the root tips. To harvest the root tips, take the onion bulb and cut off about 1 cm long pieces of the root tips and transfer them in a test tube. Now, fill the test tube with fixative and incubate at 50 degrees Celsius for 6 minutes. Then, transfer the root tips to another test tube and incubate them in 90% ethanol for 2 hours. Finally, Take out the root tips and store them in a bottle containing 70% ethanol till use. The next step is staining the root tip cells. Take out a root tip with the help of a forceps and place it on a microscopic slide. Trim the extra end of the root tip to keep only the root tip part of about 2 mm long tips. Now, Add 2 drops of acetoorsin stain on the root tip and keep for 2 minutes. Place a cover slip on the drop of stain containing the root tip and gently squash it by pressing with the back of a pencil eraser. Care should be taken not to move the cover slip. Soak up the extra stain, if there is any, from around the cover slip with a tissue paper. The next step is observing under the microscope. Place the slide under the 10x objective of a compound microscope and scan to see if the cells are spread in a monolayer. If the cell spread is thick and does not form a monolayer, then take out the slide and squash the cover slip again with the pencil back. Observe it under 10x objective again. Once a nicely spread monolayer of dividing cells are visible, switch to 40x objective. Examine the cells and identify the different stages of cell division in the root tip squash cells. Locate the cells in different stages of mitosis, that is, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Also, try to locate cytokinesis. Sometimes, all the stages may not be visible in a single fill and so change the fill to locate all the stages if necessary. Take a picture of the different stages for record. Next is troubleshooting. If the slide is not satisfactory and the stages of division are not clearly visible, repeat the abrupt procedures. Let us now see the results. 
large and distinct nucleus with distinct nuclear membrane and nucleolus of the dividing onion root tip cells are visible. In the interface nuclei, the chromatin networks are not distinguishable into chromosomes. In prophase nucleus, the condensed chromatin or chromosomes are visible as thread-like structures, each chromosome with two sister chromatids. In metaphase nucleus, the chromosomes are seen to lie in a line on the equator of the spindle. In case of anaphase nucleus, V or J sap chromosomes are seen towards the two poles of the spindle. The telophase nucleus can be identified in the dividing cells with the presence of two daughter nuclei in a cell. Let us now see the conclusion. Onion root tip cells are suitable samples for studying mitotic cell division. It is easy to grow the roots and harvest the roots. The root tips can be easily fixed in a fixative mat with common laboratory reagents and stored conveniently for use in the lab. The acetocarmine stain is an effective stain for staining the onion root tip cells and the preparation of the stain can also be done in a simple cell biology lab. When observed under the microscope, Large chromosomes were clearly visible at 40x magnification and all the stages of mitosis were clearly distinguishable in the nuclei of the dividing cells. Thank you.